Hello. So today I'm going to try something new. I'm going to start a series where I discuss um, shifting your mindset or your paradigm. So what that means is um, through your thoughts and your, pos your positive thoughts or your negative thoughts, you could be um, affecting your daily mood, you know, your happiness, your um, your sadness, your grief, whatever. Um, so through my paintings, I'm I'm actually working on that myself. I'm I'm planning to um, you know with each painting, I'm working on a different area of my life and and my uh, my own mindset. So I'd like to start with this one behind me called I Am Okay. So right now I'm getting a lot of comments on social media about how that is the symbol for white power. Um, I did this painting about four or five years ago and trust me, that was, that was not my intention. My intention was the symbol of I am okay. We all, we all know that symbol. Scuba divers use it to let their buddy know that they're okay. Um, it's, it's just my entire life I knew that as I am okay. So unfortunately, this is a new, a new thing now with this whole white power thing. So I just wanna explain that. That was not my intention whatsoever. And when you hear the words that are in this painting, I think you'll get exactly where I was coming from. Okay, so I have a little story to tell you about how I came up with this idea of the I am okay. Um, I was already painting uh, figurative works with the words in the body. And I don't even know, I think I was watching some program where they were talking about uh, maybe Joel Osteen's book, which was called I Am. And, uh, you know, maybe it was a movie that I saw. Uh, I don't even remember what it was exactly, but I was, I was watching television and this, they were talking about I Am and how everything that follows it, the words that follow it create a reality. And of course, I immediately thought of the I am okay symbol, the okay symbol. So, um, so now I had to like, you know, I'm designing it in my head. I'm planning it in my head. What are the words going to be? What is it going to look like? Um, is it, it's got to be a hand, obviously. Um, so I'm trying to figure out, uh, what I want this to look like. Where am I going to introduce color? Because I didn't want to do a colorful background. So I was going to have to bring color in somehow. So I decided I wanted bangle bracelets in various colors and I wanted to, um, you know, have this be really bold by not having a background. And I didn't want something super intricate. I wanted something that I can do bold and, and um, with brush strokes and uh, I wanted plain bang bangle bracelets. And I went shopping and I couldn't find them anywhere. And people were looking at me like, you know, that's so out of fashion. Like, why do you want that? And um, I didn't think it was out of fashion, but what do I know? So um, I kept looking and I kept looking and it was delaying the process. So fast forward a couple of months later, I'm on a cruise with my family. My brother was with me, my mother, of course my husband. And uh, we went shopping in the promenade and there were bangle bracelets. They were $90 a piece, they were beautiful. They came in different widths and I was not going to spend $90 a bracelet. So I asked my brother, oops, sorry, I'm looking for the That was my next door neighbor here at Baca uh, who didn't realize I was recording. So um, anyway, the bangle bracelets we found at the promenade. So I asked my brother to meet me at the promenade in this little shop in the promenade the next day and we I put the bracelets on did the I am okay symbol and we shot it really quick and put the bracelets back on the shelf so I then had to wait until I got home from the cruise to to work on it um, one of the things that I do with my process is I start in Photoshop and I I, I make changes to the photograph obviously the photograph was a uh, color and I have to make part of it black and white and I have to sort of turn it into six shades of gray. Um, I had to plan the size and I ended up, because I have this long arm, I ended up with a 30 by 60 inch 
uh, layout with the I am at the top. And this was the very first time I was introducing um, type on in the painting, not, not just part of the uh, fabric mosaic, but actually hand lettered on the canvas. And it looked best sort of cropped off the canvas. And a lot of people ask me about that. All of my paintings now that have type on them, the font is sort of bleeding off the top of the canvas. It's a, a design choice. So I think it looks best that way. And it's most definitely a conversation if, if nothing else. So another thing you might not know is that the, the hand itself is created with fabric uh, mosaic which is um, fabric that I order from uh, a company online. I create the document in Photoshop for like a yard of this fabric in a different, probably like anywhere from six to seven shades of gray. The actual words that are in the hand that are in, that are making up this fabric mosaic, what, you know, you might say, what, what are those words? I want it to be um, as inspirational as possible. This is uh, my own version of inspiration, but I do some research online until I find uh, the quotes that I think work best. So here they are. Who am I? I am who I am. Your approval is not needed. I am enough, perfect as I am. I am not what happened to me. I am what I choose to be. I am happy and confident and connected. I am loved for who I am. I am okay. A lot of people that I meet are very inspired by these words. They're not my words. I, I get them from Instagram posts and from Pinterest and from all over. Um, I put them together the way I think they, they flow best. And uh, that is the one that I am using for this. So I have posters of this that have the words that Go, uh, that sort of frame the artwork. I have smaller prints, uh, 11 by 17, that also have the words around as a frame. Uh, they fit, 11 by 17 is pretty much a standard size that um, you can go to Michaels or Target and, and get a nice frame for. Uh, if you follow the link below, you can see where you can purchase these and uh, the original is also available. Thank you very much and I hope you come again to my channel soon. Please subscribe and hit the bell for any alerts. Thank you. Bye.